Uh, hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey Gleason, and it's been a while, but I'm back with another uh, computer tutorial. Uh, last time, I showed you how to work the internet, and I hope that was very helpful. Today, I'm going to show you how to work your uh, computer clock. So, you know, up here in your uh, bar, you, you see the time, and it's um, it says 4.18 uh, PM. I'm going to show you how to change this because that could be really, really useful. So you, you, you take your mouse button and you can click on the left. And then you have a couple of options here. You can, you can do analog, which um, shows you the clock. But I don't know about you, but I can't really tell what time it is by that. So I don't know who would want to use this. So I, I don't, I don't like to use this. So I go back to um, digital and there you go it's it's 419 uh, with some seconds to spare now you can open your preferences here and you got a whole bunch of things to choose from um, first I'm gonna go over here to clock and again you can change it to analog but there it is again I can't tell what time it is with that so I went back to digital Okay, and then you can see the seconds. Oh, look at that. But then sometimes that's not helpful because like when I, when I do some cooking, I need to know the seconds and how many seconds I have left on my pasta dish. So I put that back where it belongs. You take this off. I have no idea what it did. But if you turn it back on, Oh, look at it, it's flashing. The two dots, the colon is, is flashing, and that helps you keep rhythm with, with the second hand. So I, I like to keep that one on. Then the 24 hour clock. Now, wow, this really gets confusing, because look at that. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know 16 o'clock what that means. So I don't like that at all. Now, show AM, PM. Now, this is, this is really important because like if you don't have this clicked, it says 421. I have no idea if it's nighttime or morning, especially this time of year with daylight savings. I mean, it, it's dark outside either way. And so I like to know when I have to go to work. So if I have this on and it says PM, it's like, oh, I got to go get a shower because I got a night job to do. And then there's another option here. Show the day of the week. Saturday. If you take this off, there's no day. And I, I don't find this helpful one bit. And then show the date. You could turn the date off. Again, I like to know the date. So there you go. Um, and then over here on this first thing here, um, date and time, you can actually make some changes here. You can change the time to anything you want, um, I think. What, I don't know how to work. The, oh, I see. You take that off, and then you can change it. And I, I, like, I like 440 a lot. So I changed that. But you really don't need to know this because if you click this, it automatically changes it to the internet time. And that I find that really convenient because sometimes I don't know the time and I'm, I'm coming to this thing to tell me oh, what time it is. So there you go. And that is it for today. This is how to set your internet clock on your computer screen. Um, if you have... Um, uh, this was an Apple computer. You could tell because I got the Apple in the logo in the middle here. Um, if you got a Windows computer, you're on your own because um, Windows sucks. All right. This is Jeffrey Gleason. Feel free to write me at my internet address, um, which is displayed on the screen now. Uh, thank you. Uh, we'll be back again very soon, hopefully sooner than a another year with more internet tutorials. Bye-bye.